guys are back with Quick Puppy School. You said that. Oh, there's an online concert. That's the upside. The only upside I can see to all this that's going on now. Everybody, all these indie artists that can't tour anymore, have no choice but to do online shows all day, every day. It seems like Brian Fallon's been on twice this week. Little peanuts, they already know. They already know what's going on. <laughs> anyway, Ken, that's the female right there. She's doesn't seem real markedly smaller than them. She's got the black face though. She'll have a black mask. Oh, you little peanuts. They love this platform. Okay, he said, what are you waiting for? Oh, they need to disperse a little. Let's get back. Whoops. Uh oh. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. <laughs> you little peanut. Anyway, that's her right there. I'll show you, and I'll try to get some pictures of them. They just don't hold still, so don't you try to get down and get the camera. They <laughs> said, should you do that? No. The Zach George constantly kissing the dog on the head. I actually thought they blocked me. He's literally not the worst trainer, but he's not very good. He's not talented at all. He'd be better off doing infomercials. He talks, he's got these over-exaggerated hand gestures. And so the dog doesn't pay any attention to him. Because what he doesn't realize is he's just waving his arms around all the time, so it just appears to be somebody that has a lot of weird erratic behavior. <laughs> you precious peanut. They look you right in the eye, too. Alright, I have some other stuff. Where did I put it? So we got the pajama. I'm gonna to try to do that tomorrow. I have to go into town today. Let me tell you what, that shopping at Publix is a nightmare. It's just unbelievable. Now they've got the door all blocked off. And they can only let a certain amount of people in. Luckily I made it in the cut right after me. Nobody else was allowed in until someone else left. If you said what did I just hurried as fast as I could and got the hell out of there. Oh. That's all right, my hands. All right, let me see what's this other stuff I had. I thought I had some glasses over here. Oh, here they are. Oops. Hi, Margaret. Here's the glasses. It's a rubber puppies in the canvas. I'm going to try to do that tomorrow. Just put it in with that. Uh, what's his name? Let's just... Oh, I don't want to tell you. She's just barking at Tuffy. You little cuties. Tuffy goes and looks out the window over there. <laughs> He knows I'm out here, so he goes in the bedroom, and then he peeks through the blinds. Ouch!
you saw that marker, he put it right in my hand. <laughs> anyway, what a nightmare. They now have arrows in the aisles, if you said it was, no. These people clearly haven't read the news story, and the, the arrows, if you said, what should they, they should put them in orange tape. If you said it was like blue or, you know, black tape, that nobody seemed to see that. So I went in the dog food aisle, and I only went like a quarter of a way down the aisle, and I was looking at the treats or something, and then I just went the other way, and then this woman admonished me for going the wrong way. If you said, instead of going all the way down the aisle, yeah. If you said, well, you were just going by muscle memory, yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to only going one way. If you said, what about if there's a one-way street? Yeah, I'm in trouble. He sets it right in my hand. You know, I'm gonna free up some space on the phone so I can do a few more videos. Oh. Uh -oh. So two do it at once. They both can. I saw that marker. He put it right in my hand. Uh -oh. It really is cute. She said they're stealing all the thunder. She had a chance to do it. Beyond cute. Oh so you'll never drop anything. Yeah. If you said they're smooth coated, they are smooth coated. If you said, yes, that's good. That new female ago is long coated. If you said, is that good? No. I told the girl I got her from, I don't think my mouth throws coats. She said, no, I don't want long coated. It's too much hair. puts it right in my hand. I hope you saw that, Margaret.
something so big. It was only 20 bucks. It was that day I had to run into Walmart to get the scale. And that was the only thing I was going to get in there for, but I can't help myself but go down the clearance aisle. Sort of like the bargain bin at Publix. If you said, then what? Then I saw this thing for 20 bucks. I said, I didn't even have a cart since I was only going in there for one thing. I grabbed it. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't have a cart, and so I'm trying to carry all this stuff. Anyway, Ken, that's her right there. Cutie. He said, what's her name? I just named her Traviata. I'm out of treats. I'm going to try to make a quick video, though. And I'll try to get some pictures, but I'm just going to tell you, it's not easy. Because as soon as you try to get down low to get the picture, they run at you. Then it's just a blur. <laughs> it's all a blur. Anyway, Margaret, the most important thing is, I hope you saw that. She put it right in my hand. All right, let me see if I can get some footage. Yes, I got the scale to work, because I had a scale that I weighed them with, but it was a postal scale. You know what I'm talking about? Then you just put them on there, and then that's how you weigh them. Oh, hi, Brian. And it broke. So I'm trying to find all these different batteries to put in the stupid scale, and none of them are working, and I was like, sure, these, all these batteries can't be dead. It's got to be the scale's broken. I'm not going to run out just to go buy a battery to come home and figure out that the scale's broken. I'll just go out and get a scale. It was only like 20 bucks. He said, how much do they weigh? They weigh a lot. They're already like 15 pounds. Anyway, let me see if I can get some footage. 